California's coastline provides many opportunities for both recreational and commercial vessels, as long as we prepare for coastal hazards such as tsunamis. Knowing your zone is one of the most important ways to prepare yourself in case of a tsunami. Find out where your tsunami safe and tsunami danger zones are by visiting tsunamizone.org forward slash know your zone and clicking on your region. One way to get yourself and your community involved during California's Tsunami Preparedness Week is to organize or participate in a local maritime evacuation drill. The most common type of drill may be a boater evacuation drill for a distant source tsunami from a harbor. Partner with your local harbor master and other boaters. They will also try to coordinate and evacuate in an actual tsunami, so it's good to practice how this would happen all together. Time how long it takes to move vessels to a safe depth of at least 30 fathoms or 180 feet. What you do may depend on expected impacts in severity and duration of the event and your ability to withstand those impacts. Consider supplies you have on board, the weather at sea, and whether or not you are willing to stick it out on sea for several days in the worst of cases. Think twice. Are you putting yourself in more danger by going out to sea? What are the conditions? Is it stormy, foggy, or choppy? Is it already busy in and out of the port? Might you be isolating yourself from people that depend on you? Your home harbor may be damaged to the point of not being able to return. This happened as recently as 2011 following the Japan tsunami to some areas on the west coast of North America, particularly Crescent City and Santa Cruz. Be aware that in near source events, time is extremely limited. You only have minutes to take action. Everything depends on where you are and what you are capable of doing. If you are docked, it may be best to evacuate by foot to higher ground at least 100 feet above sea level, or two miles inland. Remember that your safety is more important than your property. If you are in the open ocean, stay there and radio for more information. If you are heading out to sea, determine what's fastest, returning to dock and evacuating by foot, or heading further out to sea. You may have only several minutes to get to safety. Get advice from local harbor masters and emergency management to determine your ability to act quickly and safely and how you would hold drills for near source tsunamis. In all your maritime drills, consider involving rowers, kayakers, paddleboarders, and swimmers, as well as the general public. We're all in this together. Be sure to spread the word and help others prepare to survive and recover from our next tsunami, whether that means organizing a boater's evacuation drill or simply telling others in your community about tsunami science and preparedness. Visit tsunamizone.org to learn more and get involved.